34th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Christ the King Sunday. Merciful King, the mercy of God is mentioned so many times in the Bible, maybe around 400 times. So the Bible is full of many episodes about mercy. The mercy of God doesn't end. The gospel shows us that even at the last minute, one can still benefit from the mercy of God. Until we draw our last breath, we can still say, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And we can see here these consoling words. Indeed, I promise you, today you will be with me in paradise. A criminal was crucified with Jesus, seized the last opportunity to even steal the mercy of God and steal his entrance into the kingdom of God. He took advantage of the mercy of Christ. He has been known as the good thief. In tradition, his name has been presented to us as Dismas. The events surrounding Christ's death displays episodes of mercy exercised by Christ the King. His mercy extended to the living, to the dying, and even to the dead. First, he forgave the living, the brutal soldiers and rulers who challenged his royal kingship. Publicly emblazoned on his bloody throne, Rex Yudeorum, King of the Jews. Second, he forgave the dying Dismas with the promise of bliss in paradise. And third, mercy to the dead in paradise, exciting their hope of being transferred to the kingdom of God's Son. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. In the psalmist's words, he leads forth the prisoners with singing. Psalm 68 verse 6. By way of parallel, our merciful King promises to be with us like this mass in his kingdom through our own daily passion and suffering and our compassion for others. How? Take up your cross daily and follow me. When we do this, then we are ready to share the glory of Christ, our merciful King in his heavenly kingdom. We must remember that Christ is a real King. Christ is different from many other kings because Christ died for us on the cross. Our first reading from 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1 to 3 begins with these words. All tribes of Israel then came to David at Hebron. You are the man who shall be prophet of my people Israel. You shall be the leader of Israel. Then they proceeded to anoint David as king. We too must accept Jesus as the king of our lives. Another aspect of the king we must learn is that of forgiveness. Jesus can be king of our lives if Jesus finds in us and in our actions some resemblance of what Jesus is and what Jesus does. We must be ready to forgive. Forgiveness warms the heart and cools the sting as well. Forgiveness is a strong and key word for us to be like Jesus. The words of the saintly Oscar Romero says it all. Jesus' kingship is not a despotic regime, but a regime of merciful love. Lord Jesus Christ, on this feast of your kingship, we pray that you may have mercy on us and have mercy on the whole world. O oh, merciful Jesus, look with us, look towards us with mercy and grant us another chance to come to you with a humble and contrite heart. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.